People have been asking me, what is the best settings for streaming in OBS? I did a video while back showing the best settings for streaming in vmix. So OBS users are also telling me I should not leave them out. I should also do um, best settings for streaming in OBS. So today I'm going to be sharing the settings I use for my OBS. The best settings you can actually use in OBS. Stay tuned, don't forget my name, Joseph Olasukomi. And this is Extensivo. Right, so this is my OBS. Just go straight to the settings. Of course, it's settings since we're well, running settings. Then go straight to the stream. And then your stream, if you're using the Facebook or if you're using the Twitch or if you're using you know anyone you are gonna use or YouTube, um, just you can use um, stream key which you are gonna connect to or you can connect your account directly to it. So you know, whatever thing you're using, make sure to tick this ignore streaming service. You make sure you tick that i don't know actually if you are sure you want to ignore streaming service you click on yes you are ignoring streaming service settings recommendation that means you are ignoring the stream settings that youtube is using since i'm using youtube if you change it to twitch or if you change it to facebook you can also tick it ignore the streaming service settings for youtube we're going to be using our own stream settings you are telling them they should ignore the stream settings for the youtube or for facebook by default and you use the obs settings that will give it to you okay so go to your output here and then go to advanced let's go to advanced don't worry about it it's not really advanced so in your advance your audio track you can click on it one so our audio track of one is what's going to be streaming so click on the audio track one and then in your audio encoder you can leave that ffmpeg your video encoder um it's usually been x264 i change it from x264 to your graphics card which is in the video i have nvidia graphics card here you can put in the nvidia graphics card if you don't have an nvidia graphics card just put it in x264 back if you have the amd graphics card make sure you change it to the amd alternative for nvidia but if you don't have any graphics card on the system you can use the x264 just that it's going to take a lot from your system graphics card is actually recommended so once that is done the rescale output make sure it's in disabled one not rescaling is in 1080 by default which is over here that's if you go to your video you see in the my canvas resolution is in 1080 actually and my output resolution is in 1080 so there's no rescaling if it's in 720 right now it's going to be rescaling and if you have to use the rescaling your land scores is actually the best rescaling which is the 36 um sample land score but our advice is not to rescale actually if you are streaming 720 your output resolution should be 720 and mine is 1080 so so my output resolution is 1080 1080 1080 720 please do not rescale well if you have to rescale use land because then if you have to rescale if you must rescale all right so let's go back to our outputs over here then rescaling is disabled since i'm not rescaling and then um for the encoder settings now we want to go to the encoder settings make sure this is in cba out constant bitrate that's the rate control the rate control should be constant bitrate over here um it's usually used to be in different other options but we just make sure it's in constant bitrate then the bitrate you're actually streaming should be around let's say it's thousand kbs yes eight thousand kbs the bitch is just streaming and if you notice when you use eight thousand and it's still lagging you can come and reduce it over here a bit down so i'm gonna be using eight thousand since i have nvidia graphics card and i know it's actually pretty good I can make it eight thousand or let's say seven thousand kbs if you realize it's still lagging after you make sure this is a seven thousand you come back and reduce it actually so in your keyframe intervals make sure it's in two some people like it in zero actually but I like it in two so put it in two and then your preset which is actually an important feature Feature also you can put it in p7 slowest or p6 slower just depending on which is like how good your system is my system is pretty good i'm gonna just not put it in seven actually because seven is the best quality um p5 is actually you know average and stuff i'm gonna put it in p6 the lower you go actually you know to p4 p3 p2 to p1 that is the less um the less the less how do i put it the less weight on your system yes and the higher you go to p5 p6 p7 that's the higher quality actually but higher um weight on your system so depending on your system if you also put in p5 and you realize your system is lagging you can come back and reduce it to p4 or p3 at times some system use p2 just depending on the system actually so i'm not i'm not going to advise you to go beyond what a system can carry all right so let's go continue um all right so i'm gonna put it in p6 because i know my system is pretty good then um, tune in for the tuning make it in high quality yes then multi-pass mode to pass leave it that way then the profile yeah i leave it that way then for the look ahead on tick the look ahead then the adaptive future you can tick it for adaptive feature you can tick it yes then you see an adaptive feature that telling you that it's actually you know previously called psych value tuning and stuff and just tick it yes then the b frames can 
actually put this in zero the beef you can actually put this in zero and the custom encoder options and just put it in two for the custom encoder option i can put it in two that is how i do my settings for streaming then after that go to your audio and i'm going to make sure all the audio here is in 320 so you can stream a higher quality of audio you know they say if you, if you have a bad video you don't have to have a bad audio because audio is one of the key things people actually see in videos so i'm going to make sure all my tracks is in 320 as i just did over here then yes once it's in 320 that is done the video so you have done your streaming this way then we are going to the audio for the audio over here the desktop audio you can leave it at the desktop audio so whatever is going on on your desktop will come in by default like if you are playing a video on desktop now it's going to come if you are playing a video on your system rather you're going to come into your obs so you can leave it as default but i don't actually like that because in case i'm streaming and then a notification for my whatsapp pop up is going to also come in the system that's if you put it as default that's the assos because my system is assos but i'm not gonna advise you for that the speakers over here is my headset which i'm not using right now um headset is actually plugged into the system so my assos is for my desktop and the speakers is for my headset uh, or for any other outputs from the earpiece port so let's leave that in for so for gamers gamers like to hear their um their game on their system so you're gonna leave that on as the asos which is the system so if i'm playing a game the audio is automatically coming in to my obs all right so for the mic auxiliary audio we're gonna make sure that is in default which is the default for my mic which i'm, I'm, I'm using i'm gonna leave it as default because that is in the speakers then for my auxiliary tool make sure it's in cable b that's because i'm streaming to zoom at times when i stream to zoom let's leave it in cable b that way when i know is, if i'm not streaming to zoom then it's useless but if i stream to zoom it just automatically picks up i did a video earlier on if you want to watch how to stream to zoom and obs from obs how to stream to zoom and zoom to obs you can do that later in the monitoring um in the monitoring also monitoring device i leave that as cable a but if you want to hear yourself in your speakers which is over here if you want to hear yourself the way it is is in my speakers which is my headset is actually connected to my speakers out i'm outside you can monitor yourself when it's in default so it's going to be default by what is in your speakers but i'm going to be using cable a which is also going to my stream and i'm going to monitor my audio in another in another in another way therefore the video i explained to you earlier on if you are using 1080 make sure it's in 1080 and your output resolution is in 1080 if you're using 720 make sure it's in 720 and your output resolution is in 720 so it will actually be the same no downscaling no downscaling actually the same but if you will need to downscale actually i told you if you need to downscale 720 land schools is actually the best downscaling um settings but no downscaling for me 1080 Eternity, and then your fps should be 60 i'm not really doing much of motions right now but 60 is still okay not bad then we are going to go straight to not hotkeys accessibility advanced yes i'm going to advance now so what we're doing in advance is just something like this so we're going to go straight to automatically correct yes automatically reconnect i'm going to enable automatically reconnect so whenever i disconnect it will automatically reconnect back you can see the maximum retries that is 25 times i can turn it to 50. so this way whenever you disconnect after two seconds it tries to reconnect back then if it disconnects again after two seconds try to reconnect back and it doesn't reconnect after two, two seconds 50 times it reconnects back and i'm pretty sure by 50 time or before 50 times my network will have been connected already so i'm just gonna leave that as that after two seconds it reconnects back because we know we know how network can be over here in nigeria it's not really good and stuff so we're just gonna leave that as maximum tries 50 retry delete two seconds so after every two seconds it reconnects back all right so in your network over here now we're going to click on this dynamically change bitrate to manage congestion bed um, in bracket better what this is actually meaning here is that if you're using a router and you know other people are connected to the router so the network speed is going to be is going to be shared in between all of you all of you guys connected to the router um your network will actually go down you know so this dynamically changes that whenever the system or the obs notices that your network is changing your network is like the speed has reduced it should automatically change the bitrate to manage the congestion so to automatically reduce the bitrate a bit so your network will not lag because it notices that the network speed is not that fast anymore and then your quality changes so you can be streaming like a clear quality and maybe your internet speed goes down instead of it to be lagging then you can actually just reduce the resolution a bit so it can also work with your network speed but if you know your router is only for you and it's only your church streaming with it only your system streaming with it no one is actually sharing it no one is actually using it network speed is not breaking into different segments of your stream or different segment of phones rather or systems then you can just untick the dynamically change stuff but if you know that most people are using it and it's trying to like i don't know maybe 
like in my church now i think i'm using the router then only 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 me with the phone as i'm um monitoring the stream then my system streaming and then the phones connected as the cameras using the video ninja and the aerial camera stuff i usually only only that so i don't usually turn on this but if you know you have a lot of people actually connected then you can actually turn this on at times if i'm at home and we have our you know we have our, our house wi-fi and then i know that i want to stream at home and i know people are also connected to the house wi-fi i just make sure i turn this on so that the network when it's buffers it won't affect my stream actually yes so you can just turn that on and off depending on what you want so yeah actually at work i know that it's not affecting me so i'm just gonna untick that okay then that is actually all for the video click on apply and click on okay and then you should have a, a good stream you should actually have the best quality and stuff please remember that if your stream is still lagging you can actually reduce the bitrate a bit and also reduce the um the, the quality that's the p6 p5 we did earlier on so if you notice your stream is still lagging just reduce that a bit meaning your system is not actually taking it much but if your system have um a graphics card it should actually pretty take it so your stream will actually be good also it depends on your network you know so if your network is not that good you can reduce the bitrate also you can go to internet speed to test your internet and you know different factors actually make up a good in uh, a good um stream it's not only your obs that makes a good stream but this is the best settings for stream and please these settings will not actually work for recording it's only for stream you want to have a best sense for recording i'll do that pretty much um in the future and if you're watching this already in the future you can go to my videos and you're gonna see um the best settings for recording in obs i pray i would have done it by that time all right so thank you very much for watching um if this video has been very suitable to you please don't hesitate to like comment share to your loved ones share to family share to friends the more you share the more youtube suggests this video that okay is actually pretty good to those obs users that are actually looking for the best settings for obs and if i was too fast for you at any point in time you can go to your settings of your youtube and reduce the playback speed to 0.75 or 0.5 then that way it will, you, you will hear it slower i know i pretty i, I know i talk pretty fast all right so that is all for these videos thank you very much for watching once again my name is Joseph Onasi Koni. See you in my next video.